Good morning. How are you doing today? Good morning. I'm good. How are you? Absolutely fantastic. I guess you could say this is our moment, the first time that we've ever met. So therefore, we're now going to talk <laughs> about the book that does the same exact thing, except you, you put this in a manner that, oh my God, how, just how many people are going to just know this because of that app? And your app is called Met. Yes, that's right. Met has its way with <laughs> making sure my main character, Tawanda, meets who it wants her to meet in that moment. The where, where did the idea come from? Because little, things like this, I mean, first of all, I, I love it when we can take a piece of our everyday life and turn it into a story, because that to me is the relationship between the author and the reader. Yes. And so this story is my second book in the same world as the first. So I think the world building and like the app met came before, before this book. So it started with it was just like a conversation with my friend, like wondering if you'd already met your soulmate and would you want to know if like that was possible? Like someone told you like, oh, you've already met them. <laughs> like, so, you know, good luck, go find them that you've already met. Um, and so that was an idea. I jotted down on my notes app where I keep all my random book ideas mm-hmm. that may never go anywhere. Most of them won't. Um, and then years later, I started thinking about it again. And I was like, what if there was a way to make this happen? What if there was some type of thing that told you if you had met your soulmate and could help you reconnect with the person if you've already met them? Um, and then that's how Met was born because I was more aware of dating apps then than I was when I first got the idea. And so knowing dating apps later help me flesh out the idea i've been in the wedding business for 29 years and uh over the past 10 years it's amazing how pretty much every one of my couples met with a dating app and and once again that's the reason why i want listeners to read this book the moment we met because it really it, it it's a piece of their life but you do it in a way where i mean Tawanda is i mean she's exploring things she's reconnecting uh, with her family after losing mom i mean you, you see how this is all about our everyday life Yes. And I love like in the moment we met, like we have the app that's, you know, pulling strings. But at the same time, she gets like the meet cutes, the what now we could call old school meet cutes because they're they're more rare these days. Now you're meeting people on apps. And so it's kind of rare to have a story where it's so random and could only happen at that moment. And so I think it was fun to infuse like dating apps because, yes, that's what's happening now, but also have that wonder and special meetings that happen with um, meet cutes. You you, ta- you put focus on connecting with someone after the transition in life. I like that openness because it really does, you know, it's I'm, I'm sitting in a studio and my mother's, my brother's ashes are within inches of my fingertips because I believe that they are stronger today than they ever were. Mm-hmm. Yes, I love that. And so I, I think the big two that I've lost, well, big three <laughs> that I lost in my life were mm-hmm. my mom and then um, my grandma on my dad's side. And um, the most recent, maybe seven, eight years ago, was my aunt, who was my mom's sister. And so, like, losing those people and losing, like, the physical aspect of them, because that's what we're losing, right? We're losing the ability to, like, talk with them, to have a conversation, to see them and feel them. But you can connect with them in other ways, and that's what I'm learning, like, Um, and my mom, I lost when I was 10. So sometimes it's like hard to know, like how she would respond if I, you know, ask her ever for advice of something that's going on now in my like adult years. But I feel like I, I feel her presence so much. And then of course, like so, some moments you feel it stronger than others. I I love it when I'm writing and, and there, there'll be a paragraph or there'll be a thought that I know I can find and I'll, and I'll go, mom, help me. I know you're here. Just help me. I, you're the one that planted this seed. Help me get through this. Yes, and I also like will call on help from my mom and my um, ancestors to guide yes. me in moments that I am um, struggling or need some guidance. And having that, having like that person that you know is watching out for you, it definitely gives me at least more um, peace in my day to day life and knowing like you know someone's looking out for me. Well, one of the things where I, I know that there's it's, it's it's energy that's in you is is the way that Tawanda has got to answer the question: Does romance even fit into her life because how many women or even men today are asking that very very question do i even have time for this 
Yes, and that's a question I'm asking myself. So it was um, fun for me to explore it with Tawanda. Um, we definitely have that same, like, prickly nature. And I think I discovered throughout writing it, like, if that becomes a factor in my life, it's definitely going to be something that's unique, a unique setup for me, something that would complement the life that I'm building for myself that fulfills me. Um, and I think it would take a very specific person to um, compliment, me, compliment me in that way. And so writing to Wanda and having her explore, like, different potentials um, and how it could enhance her life or not was fun. Yeah, a lot of people don't realize that love is it's it is it is a series of building blocks and that it really is like a business and mm-hmm. and and you learn to respect each other's department and 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 you grow from it. And and that's what I love about when when you say that there are so many different forms of love. Your openness is truthful. Yes, um for me in my life the most important and the most fulfilling and enriching love that I experience are with my familial relationships and with my friendships. Um, Family is, you know, that steadfast type of love that I've known, you know, for all of my life in the close circles, my cousins and sibling and um, aunts and uncles and grandmother. Um, But with, like, the friendships, that's really special because these are people that you have chosen, that you have found, that you've had meet-cutes with. Like, I've had some really cute meet-cutes with the friends that I hold super close. Uh, We tell the stories about how we meet to this day like and we've known each other for decades um so yeah i think that love is all around us in the romantic relationships even though um in romance books or you know media sometimes that's like the emphasis but in my life that hasn't been the case and so for my books i like to show the other types of love that um, really round out a character. Well, I, I like the way when you're talking about friendships that you've had for decades and you talk about how how did we meet and everything. It's almost like the way that you 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 write your scenes where you say that you put them in a journal, you have an idea, and, and you build upon that because you don't know where that friendship is going to lead and it ends up being love. I mean, the girl I'm married to for 29 years, we were just best friends and we, we, we've been married for mm-hmm. 29 years. Yeah, I think, yeah, those relationships that build, it's it's amazing. And it becomes such like a complex relationship that um, is so unique um, to you and that partner. To write about career versus love. I mean, this post-COVID-19 lockdown, I mean, there are a lot of people that have grown inside new businesses or their curses, and they've got that passion and that drive for the career. And then here comes some love. Uh Uh-oh, that's two different passions. (laughs) Yeah, it is, but I think it can complement each other. I think there is a balance that can be found, and um, if you're with the right person, it doesn't really become a hindrance. It can complement you. It can um, push you forward. It can move your dreams forward, and you can build a strong relationship, partnership with that person if they're the right one for you. While putting together the book, The Moment We Met, did you have those 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 times where you were sitting right there at those the, at that keyboard, and it's like you, you had to figure out a way to get the path into the eyes of the reader, and it, there was a lot of those hmm moments, or mm 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 mm, because it's it's all about the rhythm. I can I can feel rhythm in the way that you write. Yes, and just that little mm mm. Like, yes, that's exactly how my writing process goes. <laughs> when you're looking over a previous draft and ready to make another edit pass, um, having that inner guide that tells you like, oh no, something's off. I need to tweak this. Um, maybe this inside thought that she's having isn't ringing true to her character um and so things like that so each pass you get stronger and stronger and more true representation of that character one of the things that i've always loved about you is that you're not afraid to talk about your rewrites in the way that because there's a lot of listeners that are hider writers they they write but they hide everything they write and they're afraid of releasing Mm. and i you know it's one of those things where uh, someone once said that reading is how they became a writer so uh, i so then let's get the writers to talk about how they were wants readers as well. Yes, and that is exactly how I became a writer. It was after my freshman year in college. I went home to San Antonio, tried to find a job, applied everywhere. Everyone said no. I couldn't get hired even at SeaWorld, and they hired everyone in San Antonio, (laughs) every teen except me. So I spent that summer going to the library and reconnecting with my love of books because I had been separated from it doing the whole, you know, 
forced reading in high school and everything. So reconnecting with my love of reading, that was the summer that I decided I wanted to tell stories of my own. Um, And then in regards to like being open with my revising process, when I read a book that I love and that just feels like perfect to me, mm-hmm. for some reason in my head, I'm like, oh, this author must have nailed this on the first go, but it's <laughs> never true. It always takes a lot of revisions, and I know this because I experience it, so I like to talk about it because um, for all like the writers out there, when you get that first draft down and you're like, Ugh, this is not my vision. No, it's not. <laughs> but or visions or where your vision comes into place. That's right. I, yeah, because I go through a, a series called fermenting, where where I, I walk away from it for about six weeks or maybe even twelve weeks, mm-hmm. and then I come back as a reader and not the writer. Yep, that's exactly what I do too. The more time and but that you can give yourself between reading it again, so you can have those fresh eyes, yeah. um, the better. I love reading my work after a big break and being like, "Wow, who wrote that?" Yeah, that's it. <laughs> like, I wrote this. You sure? I don't remember this part. <laughs> <laughs> Must not have been me. It's that energy moving through me. It's, it wasn't me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so where can readers go to find out about all of your books? Because we know that these are going to eventually turn into a series on a streaming network, um, and and it's just but they just need to know the writer and 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 how these books came into being. Yes, please. Uh, from your lips to the universe's ears, um, you can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. All my social medias are on my website, CamilleBaker.com. That's the easiest way to keep up with me and follow me wherever you pick your social media poison. Absolutely. Please come back to this show anytime in the future. The door is always going to be open for you. Thank you so much. It was such a pleasure. You'd be brilliant today, okay? All right, thank you. You too.